Yeah, how's it going, guys? And welcome back to Neko Power. Oh, relax the thought, it's too much P pressing. <laughs> ah. Pant, pant. Too bad there's no button for that on my controller, eh? think she's doing and I see there's some arrow there hang on <laughs> what the oh, I thought I messed up the game are you feeling any better chocolate are you doing what I think you're doing What? Uh, oh, no, no, sorry. I didn't really get why, but she was pretty mad at me. I never knocked on their doors before now, though. Besides, Chogo would enter my room without knocking, too. Okay, well, I'll be sure to be careful next time, but more importantly, how are you feeling? I'd like to take you to the clinic, but do you feel up for to walking there? We're closed. We decided to close up early today. Do you think I could leave you be when you're not feeling well? Just listen to me and let's go to the clinic. Do you think you can stand? <laughs> I am highly aroused right now. What are you talking about? You look like you're, full you're about to fall over. Come on, I'll give you a hand. I sit next to Chocolate and put my arms around her. <laughs> Man, the pee is not working. <laughs> What's wrong? Did I hurt you? The way you're jumping around, you seem you're being full of energy. <laughs> she slurred her words as if she refused my request. She was definitely acting a lot stranger than before. Enough with that now. I'm taking you to the clinic, okay? That's the whole reason I decided to close the bakery today anyway. S come on now. <laughs> the way you're shaking there doesn't seem like you're okay. Rational, just hold back, hold back uh, from your instincts. How come? Does this model just doesn't have any physics <laughs> like the others? Vanilla pushed her face against Chocolate's body as she sniffed her. <laughs> you don't mean that Mady's hissing thing, right? Now that you mention it, that was noted in the book I bought before. I thought that it was still a bit early for them, though. Now oh, there seems to be physics on her bu bu model. Uh, ah, please always be my side from here on out. I'm so happy when you're with me. Oh, flashback. Since back then, huh? Situations with dealing with a fast maturing cat girl. I remember that that section it wait. 
SWD W oh, it doesn't spell anything. Crap! I thought that what? Okay, I thought it was still too early to worry about stuff like that and totally glossed it over. Just well, just what should I do in a situation like this? <laughs> Well, satisfy their needs, I guess. But we're playing the not we're playing the censored version, so we're not gonna see any of that. She looked up at me with pain, tear stained eyes. It was the look of a woman desperately pleading for help. Chocolate! She, <laughs> she had completely caught me off guard, and in an instant my face began to redden. This is bad. I could see that chocolate was not herself. My heartbeat started to slow down and it began to throb profound Pro profusely. Profusely. <laughs> okay. By let out, you mean what? Vanilla was right next to my ears as I looked over her face. That di this didn't seem like one of her usual jokes. She was looking straight at me. Express their love for each other physically? What unreserved and certain words. I felt like I couldn't breathe. Vanilla paid no attention to me and continued to whisper into my ear. Well, you... you are right, but... Of course I knew there were people like that. I knew just how... So I wasn't one to judge them. But that being said... <laughs> Would you guys stand still for a sec? Well, of course, she's important to me. Chocolate and Vanilla were important, irreplaceable members of my family. This wasn't a matter of liking or disliking them, but that's why in the current, in the current of all this... Forgotten? Enough with the flashback, we know what it said. Her slender finger caressed my cheek. They were the same words as before. As they pierced through right through me again, just like back then. Just like back then, you could feel the determination behind Chocolate's eyes and words. She gazed right at me. Well, I'm pretty sure the heat, like, pushed it a lot. What just happened? I was holding your breath for you. I returned her gaze as Shogola took took hot, shallow breath, still caught in her bewilderment. I gently placed my hand on her tear-stained cheek. <coughs> if you really decide to, then rather than deciding whether it's right or wrong, 
I'll be honest too. With those words as my wow to her. Uh, he kissed her again. So that was a kiss? There we go. Uh, that's right. I gently rubbed both the deteriorated eye chocolate and the proud vanilla's head. I then gently embraced both of them. But that's when they banged. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they bang in like the eight, the, the uncensored version. Oh. Chocolate and vanilla curled up, completely appeased. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a banging scene <laughs> between this. Because vanilla said that I should be going, but I'm still yet in this room. Chocolate was all back to normal after being satisfied. Yeah, they banged. They totally banged. <laughs> Although she could just have exhausted after all that, that would return to that state soon. <laughs> yeah, there are. There, there's clearly a scene they skipped over. There's a lot. There's a lot to racing cat girls, huh? To think that the racing cat girls would involve this as well. I didn't think I'd become such a cat girl lover either. Well, I have no regrets. Of what? <laughs> what did you do? With a slightly perplex perplexed smile, I poked the cheeks of the two of cat girls. Yeah, yeah. I responded with, as responded to the, as responded to the two cat girls as they mumble in their sleep while rubbing their heads. They were like daughters, and even if you think of them as daughters, that that would feel really weird. You should just go with the other thing you said. Those feelings mixed together and felt weird. <laughs> if you think of them as as daughters, I mean, that's really weird. <laughs> if you think about it, as their own and as a man, I guess I'm really lucky, huh? Absolutely honest goodwill with no mind games. <laughs> I guess that's what made cat girls so wonderful. That's what I felt as I gazed at their innocent sleeping faces. I see you tomorrow, Shogula Vanilla. I saw they struck their cheeks once more. They responded to my caresses while sleeping. I tidied up Shogula and Vanilla's bed. I gazed upon their precious sleeping faces one last time and quietly left their room. Well, this is the Steam version, so obviously you can't have... <laughs> Bell holding poster cat girls. Yeah! Achievement on life! <laughs> My hair's messed up. Uh, double check that order. Roger, give me a sec. Let's see, two shortcakes, two cheesecakes, two fruit tarts. Soa, 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 soa. One gato, one milfil, one Mont Blanc. <laughs> yep, that's the same as the salesman voice. <laughs> You're very excited there. Whoa, he came running up to me. Okay, okay, pat, pat. Okay then, be careful of crossing people and come back safe and sound. Hi, no one <laughs> you guys haven't said if this is what's annoying, so I'll keep doing so. Huh, forgot? There's nothing yet.
照れてるご主人様も可愛いですよ Look, we can't be doing that in the bakery. So, I'm a good shoe, so I'm a good shoe. When was that decided? But whatever. I'm a good shoe. 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 You could say she was, so、um, yes. I did a kiss now, the Kawai Kereba, Temo does tell you, eh? Well, um, I'm sorry. Could we stop with this, please? Betsy, did it go to Nigel and I? Neko got part to know, Tenomo, Imadoki Mizerishkum, mind us, eh? So no hand know that to Saiki no cotana, Koineko ni natana. I'm sorry, I'm not that good with these types of conversations, so I'd appreciate it if it's. I'm sorry, I'm not that good with these types of conversations, so I'd appreciate it if it's. I'm sorry, but I'm in the middle of work. So it's, a, so it's decided, huh? You're pretty excited over there, too, huh, Vanilla? Phew, they finally left. We had a brief pause with those guests left. I'm not very good at talking about my romantic affairs like that. After all, since I was young, the only thing I've done has been making Japanese sweets. I was exhausted from trying to figure out how to respond to them. Yeah, got it. What are you so angry about, Manila? Uh, you're hungry or something? If you are, you can have a slice of cake. And just why you bring up chocolate? She doesn't really get upset often. Aside from her disparate. Desperately yelling, I'm hungry sometimes. Hey, that's a false accusation. Just what was I ogling at? Ugh, just when was I ogling them? <laughs> Vanilla folded her arms and snorted. A horny pastry puff, as she says. There was an unpleasant sound to those words. I got it, I got it. I'm not flirting, so it's okay. Actually, I'm not very good at stuff like that. It's just a misunderstanding. Don't be mad. I just wonder what the hell she's talking about. <laughs> Isn't <laughs> an angry sound though? It was a false accusation to say I was fooling around with chocolate. Once I put everything vanilla is saying together, it sure seems like. It's jealous, huh? Sorry, I'll be more careful next time. I got it, I got it, I'm sorry. I'll act with more restraint. I got it, okay, there, there. Vanilla puffed out her cheeks as I patted her on the head. Even vanilla gets jealous, huh? I thought she was more carefree than this, though. I guess it's to be expected since, despite being always together, Chocola hasn't been paying much attention to her recently. I need to be more careful as their owner. Come to think of it. Are you in heat yet, Vanilla? No, 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 that's not what I meant. What I meant. I'm just concerned about your physical health, okay? Well, I guess you're doing fine then. I. really was honestly worried though. But it'll level a chilly glare at me while I was thinking that.
What was that? Are you going to put up whipping cream? Well, hey, Chocola, mind watching the store for a bit? Hi, Omakasere! Vanilla, I need your help in the kitchen. Well, of course. Just what, in, just what kind of hunch is that? It seems that she was holding a grudge. Uh, still holding a grudge. It looked like she told Chocola something earlier too. In any case, I needed them to lighten things up. I thought I'd start to slowly teach you how to make a cake. Oh, cake can you stop it with that nonsense? As always, she was quite the actress. There wasn't really a reason for her to regret anything though. Well, in all seriousness, I have no qualms with Chocolate being a poster cat girl, but I don't think making cakes would suit her. Vanilla was the right cat girl for the job. It'd be great if she's in it'd be great if she's interested, but it'll be fine if she even if she messes up. So well, that's how it is. I'll start by teaching you how to make some simple dough, okay? Does she always have to say what she's doing? <laughs> it seems like she's more into it than I thought she'd be. We don't have that kind of customization available. We don't make them one at a time, so it wouldn't work out. Enough with co <laughs> enough about customization. First, first the basics. While she gave a half-hearted response, she measured out the ingredients very carefully according to the recipe. She was quick to learn the names of the kitchen tools and how to use them, and remembered what I taught her without uttering a single complaint. You really take on things quickly, Vanilla. Honestly, you're a lot more skilled than your boss than I thought. No, She popped out her non-existent chest proudly. She got a chest. It's just not very big. The chest of that uniform might be too high a level for Vanilla. Well, she picked it out herself, so I guess she didn't mind too much. Maybe she was trying to show off her slightly lacking chest. <laughs> that trivial thought crossed my mind for a brief moment. Is that so? First time I heard that. Now that you mention it, you're right. It was more like neither of us were the type to come up with snappy retorts. Vanilla also wasn't the type to talk about herself much either. Alia says that I hadn't heard much about her. She smiled with her usual tone and voice. If that's what makes Vanilla most comfortable, then I'm fine with that. That was without a doubt. Without a doubt. <sighs> Yet, do you dislike it when I bother you, Vanilla? She tilted her head to the side and blinked a few times in confusion. Following her brow, she put a hand on her chin as, as she thought. Then she hit her palm with the fish and looked over me. Who, who does that in real life? <laughs> you really need to quit with these jokes of yours. I lightly bopped Vanilla on the head. She really can't handle serious topics, can she? I looked directly at Vanilla and returned to the topics at hand. At hand. <laughs> I want to be closer to you, Vanilla. Vanilla. 
<laughs> Not in a literal sense. What I mean is that I want to know more about you and get along with you better. This time I gently pan patted Vanilla on the head. As usual, she had a baffled expression on her face as she looked up at me. I'm fine with the distance between us right now, but I want to be a better owner, you know? That's why I want to be... <laughs> I want to know more about you. I want to understand you better, Vanilla. You're one of my precious cat girls after all, Vanilla. Do you have to repeat her name all over again? You're the only one you're talking to anyway. Ew with that- Ew with, ha! Ew with what happened with Chocola. I was concerned about Vanilla. Vanilla was right. I didn't know much about her at all. That's exactly why I wanted to know more. The three of us will be together from now on after all. <laughs> She was in heat all this time! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, stiff stuff! So Vanilla could be cute... Could be cute at times too. She pouted as her cheeks became rosy. Vanilla mumbled as she looked up at me. Perhaps she really does have a really low tolerance for serious matters. Well, I know it's a bit out of a character for me, but I wanted to get that out of the open, out in the open. At the very least, I wanted to tell you how I feel. As an unbefitting wry smile that came across my face, I faced Vanilla and spoke my true feelings. I told you that's not. Oh, I'm sure this game will skip over that he's banging her too. <laughs> it's okay, I understand math. Ah, that's not me. Ah. She was absolutely adorable. That true smile, this level of honesty. She see, she normally didn't show me was ah, was making my heart skip a beat. No, 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 no. I was having a serious discussion here. This isn't the time for me to be to be horny and shit. <laughs> oh shit, it's happening. It's happening. Now she's also turning now she's also going in heat. Oh shit, it's happening. Huh? Vanilla? Hey, 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 Earth to Vanilla, um, you're really close. I say close, but it was more like she was stuck onto me. Vanilla burned her face in my chest and continued to sniff. <laughs> it's the same thing, just with Vanilla. <laughs> She looked up and pushed her uh, face up against my neck. I could feel her body and lips pressed against me. As vanilla sweet smell and softness flowed throughout my entire body. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, vanilla! <gasps> Fleeman? Oh, did you just say Fleeman's response? What, what? What? Well, let's just leave it at Fleeman response then. It's happening. Ah, sure. I left it at that. You thick-headed motherfucker! It's the same. Nekopara. Well, it takes very little to make her heart race, I guess. It's the same shit happening. That what happened with chocolate? Thank you very much. And it and it's now happening with vanilla. He's pretty slow on the uptake, and you banged chocolate, and now vanilla is acting up again. So. You gotta satisfy her needs too, but the Steam version will skip that, 
and blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> and I record for 30 minutes. No! I'm gonna save here, baby. It's happening. There we go. More rubs. <laughs> That's it for this part. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave you guys with a high five.